Every living thing on Earth, from the tiniest one-celled organisms to the biggest animals and trees, is the result of reproduction. Organisms can continue living even if they never reproduce. However, without reproduction, life would not be able to perpetuate itself. Reproduction is a basic property of life. Reproduction in living organisms is based on individuals passing on duplicated DNA from one generation to the next. Organisms reproduce in two basic ways, asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction occurs when a cell or organism produces offspring identical to the parent. There are several different kinds of asexual reproduction. One form of asexual reproduction is binary fission. In the process of binary fission, an organism duplicates its genetic material and then divides into two identical cells. Plants and some lower animals often reproduce asexually, employing mechanisms more complex than binary fission. These mechanisms include fragmentation, regeneration, and budding. Asexual reproduction by fragmentation occurs when a new organism grows from a piece or fragment of the parent. For example, a planarian cut in two will grow into two new identical individuals. Another form of asexual reproduction among animals is regeneration. Echinoderms such as starfish and sea urchins are able to reproduce this way. Some echinoderms can grow and develop into a completely new individual from a single detached leg. Some animals, such as this hydra, reproduce by budding. Budding occurs when an organism grows a whole new organism on its body. The resulting individual grows and develops and may break off or be released when fully grown. Most higher plants and animals reproduce sexually. The key difference compared with asexual reproduction is that the offspring have a combination of genetic material from two different cells or organisms. Typically, the genetic material comes from a male and a female. The advantage of sexual reproduction is that it produces new gene combinations within a population. The genetic variation may result in more individuals better able to adapt to environmental changes or to resist disease organisms. Many plants and fungi are capable of reproducing both sexually and asexually. For example, strawberries reproduce asexually by sending out horizontal above-ground stems called stolons. Strawberries also sexually reproduce by producing flowers, which are fertilized. Some higher animals, including wasps, some fish, and reptiles can reproduce asexually by parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis involves the development of an egg into an offspring without the need for fertilization. Without reproduction, life would not exist. By studying reproduction in all its varied forms, we can better understand an essential process that maintains all life on Earth.